Hey guys, this car has a strange glitch. Look, I start the car. Did you see it? Everything works fine now. However, as soon as my foot takes off the accelerator, the engine stalled automatically. Do you know why? Let's check out the front cabin. This problem has been bothering the car owner for half a year. In the past, the engine would occasionally stall when waiting for traffic lights. But now, it doesn't even work properly anymore. The owner of the car has changed the spark plugs, cleaned the oil circuit, cleaned the carbon deposits, and replaced the throttle valve outside. He spent $3,000 and the problem still hasn't been solved. The car owner had to come to me for help. Today, we are here to help him repair the fault of this car. There are usually three reasons for this kind of failure oil circuit, electric circuit, and gas circuit. The car owner has already checked and repaired the oil circuit and electric circuit. So only the gas circuit is left. Speaking of gas circuits, I now suspect that there is a part failure, which is easily ignored by many repair shops. Come here, look, that's it. It is EGR valve. I suspect it's faulty. Let's take it apart and take a look. It's very easy to remove it. Pull the plug. Remove this screw with a screwdriver. Okay, this one has been dismantled. This little screwdriver is so cheap and only costs pennies. Okay, the screws have all been removed. Next, pull out this valve. Okay, just like this. But there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this valve. Let me take a look at this valve core. Good! The cause of the failure was found. Look, normally, if I push it like this, it will move backwards. But look, it's completely inactive now. It's stuck. Let's see if we can get it off. Not bad. It can also be disassembled. Let's take it apart and inspect it. What? There doesn't seem to be any problem with this valve core. However, look here. Wow, very much carbon deposits. No wonder it got stuck. Now that you've found the cause of the problem, solving it is easy. Put some paper towels underneath to avoid staining the car. Then find a bottle of cleaning agent and clean the carbon deposits on it. My gosh, so dirty. By the way, clean the valve core too. Use a dry paper towel to wipe off the cleaning agent on it. Don't forget to dry the valve core. We put a little bit of oil on this shaft to lubricate it. Then install the valve core back. Okay, let's try it now. Look, it is already functioning normally. Finally install the valve back. After the installation is completed, we will check the repair effect. Tighten the screws. The EGR valve is called an exhaust gas recirculation valve. One end for air intake and one end for exhaust. Close when vehicle body temperature is low. When high, press the accelerator and it will open. If it is stuck, the valve will not close tightly when starting the car, causing air leakage, causing the mixture to be too thin, and the car will automatically stall. Plug back in. Okay. All parts are now installed. Next, I started the car to see if the engine would stall. Hey bro, if the fault disappears, please support me by lighting the red heart. Next is the moment to witness the miracle. Apply the brakes. Shift into P. Start up. Keep your eyes open. It's perfect. Did you see that? I didn't step on the gas pedal. The engine is very powerful. Let's take a look at the engine. Look, the engine runs very smoothly. The fault has been completely resolved. Follow me to make a friend who knows cars.